How to Titrate Your Biodiesel Biodiesel is an organic, non-toxic, and biodegradable fuel made from everyday renewable resources like vegetable oils or animal fats. It can power your car's engine and help the environment at the same time. It doesn't contain any petroleum, so forget about escalating gas prices. Biodiesel cuts down on CO2 emissions. In fact, it's the only alternative fuel to have fully completed the health effects testing requirements of the Clean Air Act. Biodiesel can be purchased at a growing number of fueling stations around the world, but you can also make it in your own backyard. Even if you don't like chemistry, you can brew your own. There are a few important factors to keep in mind when making your own fuel. During all stages of making biodiesel, always work in a well-ventilated area and away from pets and children. A key process in the homebrew recipe is titration. This means testing the used cooking oil for free fatty acids. You want to find out how much free fatty acid is present so that you can compensate for it with additional potassium hydroxide. Follow these easy steps to find out how to perform a titration. You will need rubber gloves, safety glasses, isopropyl alcohol, 1% potassium hydroxide solution, a biodiesel processor, two small jars, turmeric, three syringes, and a well-mixed sample of oil. Step one, safety first. You are working with some chemicals and vapors that could be dangerous if handled incorrectly. During the titration process, it is very important for you to wear the proper safety equipment and work in a well-ventilated area. Make sure to wear rubber gloves and safety glasses when handling the isopropyl alcohol and potassium hydroxide. Step two, get the oil. Take a small jar and grab a sample of the well-mixed oil from the transfer tank of your processor. You only need enough oil to fill the bottom of the jar. It doesn't matter if the oil is heated or not for the titration process. Step three, add alcohol and turmeric. Use the syringe and add 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol to the second empty jar. Household turmeric works as a great indicator and will tell you how much fatty acids are in the oil that need to be neutralized. Add a couple of shakes of turmeric into the second jar along with one milliliter of your well-mixed sample of oil. Step four, potassium hydroxide solution. Grab the third syringe and take exactly 10 milliliters of your potassium hydroxide solution and slowly add it to the oil, alcohol, and turmeric mix. Keep swirling and dropping in the potassium hydroxide until the solution turns red and stays red. You will get a deep red color right where the drop falls each time, but all of the liquid needs to turn red and stay red to know you're done. When the solution stays red, read the value on your syringe and subtract that value from 10. This represents the extra amount of potassium hydroxide you need to add later in the biodiesel making process. By choosing to use an alternative fuel, you've helped to cut down on CO2 emissions, cut dependence on foreign oil, and saved yourself some money. Nice work.